17th of May is the International Day Against Homophobia, and this year the focus is on families. How does homophobia relate to families particularly? Well, many gay, lesbian and trans persons experience discrimination not only in broader society, but first and foremost in their families. Um, when they come out, uh, their families, uh, sometimes I've encountered situations where actually people have been kicked out of their families and rendered homeless or had to search elsewhere for housing. So that's one link. Another link is that many people don't realize that uh, lesbians, gays, uh, bisexuals, and trans persons have families. They build family lives with their partners, very often with children. Uh, and in many cases, those families are not recognized, and that creates a lot of problems for people. And are they not recognized because people simply don't know that they exist, or is it because there aren't a legal well, coverage for them? Well, I think it's, it's a question of equality and the lack of recognition of that equality uh, for people. Mm -hmm. And this has huge consequences on their daily lives. It means that, uh, for example, if your partner is uh, in hospital, you might not have access uh, to the medical records. Uh, you might not be able to inherit property from your partner. You might be kicked out of an apartment you've lived in for years and years and years. And of course, it affects uh, children in the family as well. So the basic step is legal recognition of people who are define themselves as lesbian, gay, transsexual? Legal recognition of same-sex partnerships. Uh, now there's, there's good news here because we've seen a trend towards legal recognition. 27 out of 47 of the member states of the Council of Europe offer some form of legal recognition. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is a, a huge change that's taken place in the last 10 years. And do you see the trend advancing in a positive sense? Yes, uh, yes and no. Uh, on the one hand, we have more and more countries that have offered some form of legal recognition, but resistance to granting equal rights uh, and prejudices and violence uh, against uh, LGBTI persons uh, is also on the rise. They have become victims of, of the broader trend towards intolerance in Europe that we've seen. So given that, what should governments generally be doing to improve the situation? Well, governments should first of all look at legislation to ensure that uh, equality is ensured for all people regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity. Uh, this means same-sex uh, partnerships should be legally recognized. This means that law should be reviewed uh, so that in practice people can access rights. It also means that discrimination, uh, homophobia, transphobia should be combated um, in schools, in the media, in political life. Um, and that those who engage in discrimination or violence against LGBTI persons should be punished and punished severely. But surely that's a battle that's already been won, given that uh, 47 member states of which you speak are all member states of the Council of Europe and have signed up to the uh, European Convention on Human Rights and the various standards against discrimination. Unfortunately, it's not a battle that, that is won yet. It's a battle that's ongoing uh, and that needs to be fought every generation. Uh, tolerance is a struggle that is never, uh, that is never completely won. Um, not only that, but many countries say, oh, we don't, we're tolerant enough, we don't need to enshrine this or that provision in legislation. Clearly, uh, you, need, you need legislation uh, to mention uh, sexual orientation and gender identity as prohibited grounds of discrimination, because otherwise, uh, many police officers, prosecutors, judges, the, and the public at large just doesn't get the message. And is there special protection, special uh, thought that needs to be given to the children of so-called rainbow uh, families. Yes, the chil children can also be subject to discrimination because of the status of, of their parents or the lack of status of their parents. Um, and children have the right to be treated with dignity, with respect, um, and they have the right to grow up in a family type setting. Uh, and a family type setting can be a, uh, a same sex partnership in a, in a stable relationship. This is what the court has found. And what kind of things could governments be doing to improve the situation for the children of rainbow families? Well, first of all, it could provide training uh, for teachers to recognize bullying on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. Um, it could review uh, educational materials to make sure that stereotypes about uh, LGBTI persons are, are uh, removed uh, from there. Uh, and it should pay special attention to kids coming from rainbow families because they're often subject to various kinds of pressures and, and, and difficulties by, by their peers. Commissioner, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you.